What's going on? Welcome back to part 5 of XCOM Enemy Unknown. Last episode we were in Egypt, tearing up the country, and we got a perfect score for that one. So a little update on what has been happening. Let's check out research. What have we been researching? Arc throw at the moment. I believe, yeah. Four days to go for that. Which will enable us to start uh, throwing it at the aliens, getting some of their good loot from them. Engineering. New engineers, arrived this morning, Commander. New engineers look at that. We could get another medikit, but I don't think we need it yet. And we could get a satellite. Cost 69, but earn 80 credits, so I think we want to save up, save up a few credits before we actually go and purchase another satellite. Soldiers. Got a large amount of soldiers left. Um, two dudes just a little bit wounded, but they should be back in no time. So what else got? Hangar. Stand the ship situation room. Dr. Vaughan expects our troops to try to bring the, one of those things back here. Yeah, that's using the arc thrower, much less alive. which is part of our objective: capture an alien, etc. To interrogate the captive alien. So here we need to uh, probably go into one of these four countries, China, Japan, India, or Australia, because they do have a high panic level at the moment. So we might want to invest in those. But if we jump straight into mission control, we'll do a bit of scanning. Um, and we'll see what country we get. We're receiving a transmission from the, the, council. the council meeting. Coming okay. Okay. So our mission, council mission, target extraction in Australia, alien abduction or attack. So we have the official, which we need to escort from Australia. Rewards: 230, panic reduction, new recruit, and an assault sergeant. So let's go straight ahead and launch that mission. Excellent. We so choose our squad now. Mubu be in support. Edit that, load out, we want to swap out this frag or medkit. Always good to have one of those on the scene. A sad sniper, we want to have her sort of be at the back, just to pick them off. Long being standard support, assault rifle and Koenig as well. So let's get straight into the mission. So being a uh, escort mission, you sort of want to have your dude you're escorting always next to someone so they can provide a little bit of protection or keep them in cover for the duration and then clear all the aliens and then move them up. So we'll see how this one goes. Australia Start, uh, has sent a number of Australia. requests for assistance. Operation so that's our next drop site. Prince. Prince? <laughs> Priest. So as usual, we need to locate the VIP and protect the VIP. They usually start next to you, but oh, we have to locate this one. Sometimes they have the asset sort of start next to you and you've got to escort them. This we have to find him and then also prevent it from being killed uh, before we find him. So as usual, we'll play the mission and then commentate over it once it's complete. We are back in Australia this time for an escort mission. Uh, this one involved picking up Peter, PT Van Dorn. Some uh, Dutch name sounds a bit Dutch. We had to pick him up and bring him back to the uh, to the ship, which fortunately we failed. Um, so I'll show you what I did wrong, what I did right. Well, majority of it was wrong because I failed, but what can you do? So this is Australia, and panic levels did rise to five after this. So the main strategy here was just getting our troops up, scouting out. Uh, and by scouting, we can see where they are um, and see what danger Peter's in. So it wasn't too bad at first. Sniper wanted to keep back so she could pick him off whenever possible. Um, and we sent the standard sort of heavy and assault class up. For a little scouting mission, and we get one of those dudes come up, um, who does do a bit of damage, he poisons a few of my troops. Um, we set two other people to overwatch, because they can't really do much, just yet. Um, and we just want to get them into a better position. Both of them to overwatch, and then they make their move. He goes for the shot, does poison me, and poison ticks down, I think. You take one damage on your turn. And I think you take another bit of damage on the turn after. So I think it does two damage or so overall. So you decide not to fire because 33%, no point in wasting ammo. Um, and then we just keep moving them up closer and closer to the enemy and see what we can do. But there's not much cover available. Um, so I'm trying to use all the available cover that I can. And then these dudes want to keep one or two back just in case as a backup. Go for the shot, but I do miss. I do miss a lot of times. Here. That was a 49%. Shouldn't have hit, but. Maybe I would have got lucky. Um, he misses as well. I think I missed three times. One of them was like a 54% chance as well. So we missed that. Um, and that does get a couple of my troops killed as a result. 
But anyway, uh, moving up, we have to get one of our troops towards uh, the little objective so that he can we can take control of him, Peter, um, and bring him back. So further scouting, we found another alien and that uh, sort of human one. 33% again, decided not to fire. Just sort of scouting around looking for good positions to move up, which provide a bit of cover. Kong goes for 45%. We do miss, unfortunately. And here we just go for Overwatch in case they decide to move up, because there's no other option. He overwatches here, so don't want to move him down to the left side too much, as they will be fired upon. And we get another poison from him. And here's Peter, getting a bit frustrated now. Wants us to get down there. Can't have all the fun, as he says. But anyway, bring him up, dash in. He's not in sight of that alien, so no overwatch. Go 54% here, and again we miss, which was the third miss. Um, and that does lead me to actually uh, be killed later on from, I think, that guy. Or another alien dude, which they bring out. So Assad being sniper, sets overwatch. He goes for the shot and sort of takes me out straight, like six damage or whatever. Critical, which was quite unfortunate because we didn't kill him. Um, and he killed us. So that was one of them, and then it results in a panic. But the panic does pay off, because um, when he panicked, he shot and actually killed the thin man, which was quite nice. So now we're free on that side. But here the alien gets that overwatch. Uh, hits me for two damage, not too bad. So we can continue to move him up and pick up the objective and bring him back. So here we're just, again, moving him up and scouting out. Not too much. Pretty standard, he misses there. And this enables us to get within range and pick him up. So all's going well at the moment, although we do have one death, which would bring rating down to good, I believe, or poor. But it's a fail anyway, so it was poor overall. <clears throat> so we get 53%, and we do get the hit, which is nice. And now I don't want to move all my troops uh, sort of below that road a little bit, because I'm guessing that there's going to be more um, aliens landing behind me so i want to be in a good position with a bit of cover when that happens so i only bring one person up to uh, secure peter and then obviously yeah two more aliens have been spotted but we can just ignore them they're not too much of a threat at the moment um, and we can just continue to retreat so here i want to bring him back we have to get him back to the plane which is easier said than done um, so we set one to overwatch which was a good Good little plan, because they do land one of their thin man behind me, um, and he gets taken out instantly um, from the overwatch there. And then a sad sniper bringing her back as well. Aliens turn, they get to drop in behind us now. Which is uh, quite bad, because they do get a boost, um, because they sort of flank us. But we get, we've got double overwatch on him, so we're guaranteed to take him out. Both of them fire, second one bit unnecessary. But... We take him out, um, and all is going well. Just got to get the old uh, Peter back, and the mission should be a success. But we do fail. So Van Dorm, you control him. He's only got three HP, so and he has no weapon as well, so he can't shoot. He's just got he can only keep his head down, but keeping his head down doesn't protect from poison. So I was a little bit annoyed at that. So bring them all back, trying to get him back safe and sound. Alien activity. They drop in another thin man, I believe. Yeah, who's in a bit of an awkward position for me. Because I don't have anyone back who can actually fire on him. And uh, old PE, he's in a bit of a, a bit of a pickle at the moment. So I move him up closer to the car, a bit more cover, and head down. Um, and just try and get my troops up as far as possible. So they can take a shot next turn on the thin man and take him out. Um, but he does actually fire on Van Dorm instead of one of my other troops. Which is unlucky, because Dormy gets uh, gets poisoned, and this is the only alien left for me to kill, um, and for the mission to be a success, which is unfortunate. So he gets poisoned, and so does his buddy next to him, who I don't know what he's doing there. Someone panics, and he starts legging it. He starts running around in circles, don't really know what he's doing. Um, so I'm moving him down there, which was a very bad, bad play, because he does die next time. I didn't realise at the time we had to pre health. Um, and just wanted to uh, divert fire off Van Dorm. 
um, although I should have sent someone else. So here, obvious, obvious death. Um, so we get two deaths, which is pretty bad on my part. But, yeah, so Van Dorm is on 2 HP at the moment, and he's taking poison each turn. So I'll try and get him out of that a poison zone, but he will die anyway. And we don't have enough sort of movement zones to get him into the safe zone. So here we get the fire, 62%, take out the thin man. Um, and at, at this point, we just want to get everyone down to the, um, to the ship and get them out. We don't want to abort the mission yet. Or we didn't want to abort it, but Dorm dies now, um, unfortunately, so we have to abort the mission. So overall, that mission was a fail. Um, there I was debating whether not to quit the desktop, but I hadn't saved it beforehand, so we would have had to do the mission again um, and probably had a different mission. But anyway, that's that mission um, here. We have to abort a mission, unfortunately, so we get a poor rating. See, this was an example of a mission where if you've aborted it or failed it, you get, for this particular mission, um, increased panic. And once you get increased panic, unchecked activities cause mass hysteria. We're in danger of losing them from the council, which means that you're going to get less money overall uh, from them um, in the next meeting, for example. So that was a failed mission, just to give you an example of... What happens if you do fail? So here, wounded, wounded, and two killed, which is quite unfortunate. But what can you do? Panic is increased by one. Um, we will be in touch, Commander. But yeah, you get, you can still continue. But anyway, that'll be it for episode five. Hope you enjoyed. Although we didn't win, but just go show you win some, you lose some. Um, but anyway, if you did enjoy. Be ready for part six, which will be coming out soon.